Well, Jocelyn said that <laughs> said that there would be a nuclear war if we went to space and got the helium three and came back. But I strongly disagree with that since, well, if there, there's going to be a nuclear war anyways if we stay on Earth, since all of the countries are armed, fully armed, in fact, to destroy the world. But you're, but you're worried about staying on Earth when it's going to be a lot more safer to go to space. Since if you're on Earth, then you have a more higher possibility of dying, apparently, obviously. And when you said that we had more problems, like global warming, well, isn't that one of the reasons that we should really leave space? Leave space. Yes. I, I, I leave Earth. Also, also, um, also, it's like like Olivia said, we should put all of our eggs in one basket. So, if someone, if Earth is completely destroyed, then another colony can thrive, like the Neanderthals, for for example. They couldn't spread across Europe fast enough, like the Homo sapiens, and they eventually all died out. That's the same pattern that's going on right now, people. Also, when you said that if we were on the moon and we have we have the eight eight um, helium three and we will be hit by asteroids immediately, well, I strongly disagree with that. Also, since modern technology allows us to track to asteroids and other comets that that zoom through space, which means that we'll be able to prepare for space for space since. If you say that there's no atmosphere in the moon, then how do you think that in, nine, in the 1900s, the people, like the first man had stepped on Earth, how do you think that that was possible? Do you think that he has some supernatural powers or something? Since he came on the moon, and he, he came back, Time. and if 